Hey everybody. Uh, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. We're watching. I've been watching most of the trial and we're getting close to the end. And I just wanted to uh, let you know what I think. Um, boy, it's hard to say, right? Uh, in the court of public opinion, Amber Heard is toast. Um, but personally, my opinion is that, you know, we don't know. We don't, we don't know exactly what went on day to day. We don't know what happened. Um, we don't know if she's fabricating everything. Uh, we don't know if he is, you know, lying when he denies everything. My own personal common sense tells me that, uh, you know, her, her story is so, mm, how should I say it, is so bad um, and, and rough and, uh, you know, just all, man, everything that she's saying that he did is so rough. But then he's denying, you know, pretty much all the physical stuff. He's not denying any of the drug use, you know. I don't even know if he's denied, you know, some of the yelling. But he's denying ever putting his hands on her at all. Um, so my my personal common sense tells me that the truth is more probably somewhere in the middle. Um, I definitely don't think Johnny Depp is a saint. And unfortunately, he, he's had a rough time uh, with drugs and alcohol. And and that's too bad, you know. Um, I'm a recovering addict myself. And I know how messy life can get when you're doing that stuff. Um, you know, we love... I say we. You know, it seems like most people love Johnny Depp. And, you know, we think he's a great entertainer. But... I would just caution us to remember that his real life is probably a lot more dirty and messy than we want to think it is. Um, you know, and so it's going to be interesting to see the end of the trial. Obviously, the end of the trial doesn't mean that, you know, we're going to find out like what the real truth is. We're just going to find out what the jury thinks. Um, and, you know, I believe they probably both lost work because of this, because of their relationship, because of, you know, the public display of, um, you know, all the abuse allegations and, and everything that's gone on. You know, I don't, I don't blame Hollywood or studios at all for shying away from them because of this stuff. I hope Johnny puts out more work because, like I said, I think he's a good entertainer. Um, I hope his life goes better. I hope he can stay clean. I hope, you know, for his, for his own sake, for his children's sake, you know, uh, for sanity's sake, it would just, it would just go better for him if he could build a new life clean. You know, Amber, yeah, I hope she can stay clean too. I, I doubt that she's been the saint that she's portrayed herself as, you know, with the, oh, she hates cocaine and this and that. I mean, she's done plenty of other drugs. Uh, and, you know, it would, it would surprise me if I knew that the truth was she doesn't ever do cocaine. We all saw the clip of her blowing into or out of a tissue and it looks pretty suspect to me um, and you know I know that you know people using drugs can can uh, you know uh, make very bad decisions and for someone who might be actively using cocaine it wouldn't surprise me that they felt like they needed to do a bump right there in front of everybody
because people who are using drugs, man, they think they're real slick. And uh, they probably, you know, they, they sometimes can think that they can get away with stuff like that. Um, but you know, we'll never know the truth. This is all speculation. And that's the main thing I wanna put out there is that we, we don't know. We don't know what the truth is. We can only look and have an opinion about what we see. So, right on. Here we go. Let's see the end of this thing. And uh, thanks for watching.